Hey, what is up guys? And today I want to talk to you really quickly about live photos in iOS 9 and 10 beta. Now I'm not going to dive in too much about the specifications about what live photos is and how it works and things like that. There are other videos for that. This I want to answer the question, is it a gimmick? Is live photos just something that Apple did because it could and it's kind of cool but not really useful? That's what I've been really thinking about that inspired this video. And I never really thought about it all too much. I always thought it was kind of a cool feature. Uh, it was usually the first way to demonstrate force touch to someone who doesn't know what it is. And for those of you who don't know, live photos is when you take a picture um, on a new Apple device in iOS 9 or 10 beta, it basically saves a second and a half prior to a second and a half uh, after a photo is taken. So essentially it creates like this three second like GIF video thing. It's kind of in a league of its own and obviously since then um, competitors have come out with different types of things and Apple wasn't the first to make this. I'm sure I'm going to get reamed for that. This isn't about who created the first GIF or GIF or whatever you want to call it. Is live photos a gimmick or is it something meaningful that will impact photography and filmmaking and social media for many many years to come honestly what sparked this was when i was looking at pictures of me and michelle's new dog um i really started like clicking through and really started enjoying the moments that happened just before the photo was taken and sometimes just after the photo was taken. For example, one photo when we first picked her up from the shelter, actually no, not even picked her up the first time we met her at the shelter a day before we actually went back to pick her up. Someone took a photo of us uh, with her for the very first time and the photo is just a nice little picture, but by force touching and looking at the live photo, I was able to see and remember that she was chomping on this really big piece of like fake bacon bone or something that was kind of funny. And I completely forgot about that moment because in the still photo, all you see is her uh, with her mouth kind of open, but it looks like anything. She could have been yawning or smiling or panting or whatever. But because of the live photo it allowed me to give just enough context to allow me to remember what happened. And I was able to play the rest of the video in my head. So right then and there, answer the question for me, I love live photos. I do not think it is a gimmick at all. I think it's a way to, if you take a photo and forget to take a video or don't have the storage capacity to take a whole bunch of videos, it's a way to take a photo and then allow you to remember more of the story through just a couple seconds worth of context before and after that photo. And I think that's simply amazing. Is it the coolest thing, mind-blowing feature that I've ever seen on a smartphone? No, not at all. But for what it is, to get kind of real deep and emotional here for a second, I think it is pretty extraordinary and I just wanted to share that with you guys that I've, uh, I've really grown to enjoy live photos and I hope they continue to develop it and I hope, um, I'm sure there's some Android app that supports it now. I haven't looked too, too much, but um, if there is, let me know down in the comments below because I would love to see the same type of deal in um, my OnePlus 3 and other Android devices. So this was more or less just a little bit of a rant and answering a personal question. I hope you guys got something out of it as well. If you have not tried live photos or don't have an iPhone, head to your local Apple store or find a friend who has an iPhone and just kind of play with it because it is a cool feature and I think it has a place on any device. So thanks so much guys. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.